if I get a half a million followers and then it goes away, those half a million people still knows, you know, knows who I am. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. A lot of people are just like, yeah, social media, social media, it's, it's this thing. And I just feel like maybe like the older realtors or someone that's trying to get into it for a part-time thing, it's, I don't think they understand like the, the value of it and what it could, what you could be creative. What, what would be some of the early steps as a realtor that they can use to leverage? I think just be a media company, you know, bring breaking news to the public, uh, new listings, uh, really cool articles, you know, do videos of new restaurants and uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, just bring interesting content, you know, not just listings, but, you know, stuff going on in the community, you know, and kind of be like your own little news broadcasting company, you know, where you're basically channel five, you know, you're, you're bringing people breaking news all the time through your Facebook and Instagram and podcast and YouTube, and you should be on all the platforms, you know, yeah. I think real estate agents, might want to do a, a video once a week, you know, and put it on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all those places and put it on a podcast, create your own podcast on iTunes and have it syndicated to all the podcast channels and, and, you know, put it there too. I mean, why not? It's free, you know? Yeah. It's funny. Um, I came across you uh, surfing through uh, TikTok. So I posted like, oh, that's really interesting. And it just kind of put me in a rabbit hole. I just went, I went to YouTube, I went to Instagram, I went to your website. It's like, wow, this is really good stuff. So you found um, on TikTok? Yep. Yep. Just, and it was actually on the, uh, the For You page. Mm. It, uh, and the reach is pretty, like, I'm still, I'm still, I'm no Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, but the reach, like, I'll post a video on TikTok. And I don't have much followers. I'll get 500 views, 300 views sometimes. Yeah, and that's that's just amazes me, and I, I was just going across. I was like, because what what really caught my attention was you said uh, millionaire at twenty three lost it all. I was just like, whoa, what's that's that's really interesting. You hear things like, oh, I, you know, I made me, <coughs> excuse me, and it just really caught my attention. Like, yeah, most people are, I think, you know, scared of TikTok. Maybe like that are older, because it's all for kids. And, you know, yeah. I, I hear that a lot. even my friends like I'm like hey you guys I'm TikTok like, that's for kids that's for children but you're getting the reach man it's 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 out there I was like that with Facebook I didn't mess with Facebook or Instagram or anything till 2017 when I started coaching and writing mm -hmm. I didn't touch social media at all mm -hmm. um, I had nothing I had I did no, zero YouTube videos or podcast I had nothing I didn't even have an Instagram account nothing. So I, I was a lot like that, and looking back, I wish I would have dove on top of every, all the platforms, you know, back back when I was like 20, you know, 25, whenever this stuff came out, I wish I would have really dove on it. Um, so that's why I am kind of dove into TikTok and trying to post, you know, two, three, four, five times a day, um, you know, just to play around with it and see kind of where it goes, you know, I'm up to like 15,000 followers. Um, you know, just kind of see where it goes because, you know, if I get a half a million followers and then it goes away, those half a million people still knows, you know, knows who I am mm -hmm. and they have followed me on other platforms and, you know, the saga continues. I mean, it's just very rarely can you get a situation where, you know, you can literally have zero followers and you know do a video and get a million views you know, I have two videos over a million views mm -hmm. you know, and that was when i had like three thousand followers you know wow. yeah so i mean it's it's incredible and you're right it is mostly kids but what happens in how old are those kids going to be in 10 years 20 years mm -hmm. they're going to be 25 to 35 you know and in 20 years they're going to be 35 years old yeah buying houses, get in real estate, you know, they're going to be, you know, the next generation. So why not grab their attention right now? And, uh, you know, kind of, you know, yeah, become their entertainment or become their mentor, or become their real estate agent or become whoever, whatever your niche is, 
you know? I mean, I don't know. I, I get both sides of it, is what I'm saying. I was the same way. I wish I wouldn't have been. That's why I'm jumping on it now. And, was was yeah. there like a book you read? Or just like, what was the epiphany point? Like, man, I miss 2017 and I don't even understand Facebook. What, what was the, the understanding of. Because when I got into coaching in real life, okay. in real life, see, I didn't use social media at all for my real estate business up to that point. So I, okay. I just, I didn't need it, to be honest with you. Uh, phone calls and emails were, you know, were it. And so, but in the coaching industry, I realized I had to have it. It was really the only way to exponentially grow. And so then I had to just get my hands dirty and learn it, you know? So that, that was it. I just, I realized that it, it was where it's at because I started to look up all the other coaches and I started to watch their videos and I kind of saw where the benchmarks were and kind of what was going on. And I said, okay, I can do this, you know? So I just started working at it. My first videos were horrible. And still, I, I don't think I have great, you know, I still feel like there's lots of room for improvement. There always will be, you know, you're always getting better.